everything new with every hero in Season 13. Okay, let's start off with this season's mythic skin, which is Spellbinder Widowmaker. So the first tier of this skin, as you can see, is actually pretty simple overall. What I'm going to do here is just go through the skin tier by tier and show you what each one gets you. So this mythic follows the same approach as last season's Reaper one, where basically each tier adds a bit more complexity to the skin, whether that's by extra particle effects or more detailed clothing or whatever. For example, you may have noticed that Widow's tights get a checkerboard pattern and the wings on her back become a lot more lively. Her witch hat also gets bigger and has flame effects on tier 4. I will be honest, I am a bit mixed on this approach, simply because I like every mythic tier or customization to be strong by itself. However, I'm not surprised that they've gone down this route of making your mythic more complex as you tear it up because, well, the mythic prism system, right? Like, they want you to be more inclined to buy the entire skin. Anyway, this mythic has a purple pinky laser effect for the grapple hook as well as eliminations. She also has some custom voice lines. Conjured flame! A magic touch. And one for her ultimate as well. No one can resist my spell. Also, this season introduces gilded aspects to mythic skins, which you can see here is basically an additional gold color palette. Widow has a matching player icon and spray, a name card, and also this voice line. Come closer. I won't bite. Anna has a battle pass skin at tier 80 called Bog Witch. A small part of me worries her silhouette is a bit hard to read, but overall, I think this is a really cool skin. I know it's mostly hidden, but I like the hair a lot. Also in the battle pass, Anna has this feline familiar victory pose, a cauldron highlight intro. You also have this cool player icon and spray, and a name card as well. Plus, her old mythic skin has been given an additional colour scheme thanks to gilded aspects. Baptiste's primary fire damage mode has had its recoil reduced by 30%. Brigida's repair pack cooldown has been increased from 5 seconds to 5.5. She also has a legendary shop skin called Turned Hunter, which is a recolor of her old Vampire Hunter skin. I always think that the palettes they choose for recolors are a bit hit or miss, but this one's pretty solid. Iadi will be getting this shop skin that we saw in the trailer, but unfortunately I don't have additional footage of this one. Juno's falloff range has been reduced from 30-50 meters to 20-35. Also, her healing per projectile has been reduced from 6.5 to 6. Plus, Juno has a voice line in the battle pass. Scaredy cat, but... Kiriko, like always, has a couple of things this season. For starters, we have an orange recolor of her witch gun called Divinator, which is a legendary and will be in the shop. I'm not a huge fan of the colors on this one, but I do find it funny that people on Twitter predicted a witch recolor. There is a secondary legendary shop skin, which is an original named Yatagarasu. There's parts to the skin that I like a lot, like I think the healing of fooders are especially cool, but I'm also just a bit burnt out on Kiriko skins. In the battle pass, she has this spray and player icon, as well as a voice line. You have been placed under my spell. Lastly, we have the gilded color scheme for Kiriko's mythic skin. Lifeweaver has an epic skin in the shop called Cotton Candy. Okay, so I quite enjoy this, but I really wish it was like a free event reward or something rather than shop item. Lucio has a legendary shop skin called Poet. This is a recolor of Bard, which we saw all the way back in season five. Decent color scheme, overall nothing too special, and here's the weapon for it. Mercy has a new variation of Witch called Conjurer, making it the second recolor after Mage. This has a purple color scheme with some really nice blue accents, including the wings. I also think the hair is a bit darker than normal. Anyway, Mercy is also getting a secondary shop skin, which we saw in a survey a few months back, but unfortunately I don't have any footage of this. On tier 27 of the Battle Pass, you'll find this cute little name card, and like the others, Mercy's old Vengeance Mythic has a gilded aspect. Moira's previous Ancient Caller Mythic skin has a new gilded aspect, which I think looks really nice together. Zenyatta has a voice line in the battle pass. Be very afraid. Ash is getting an epic shop skin called Haunted. Now, this was actually added to the Hero Gallery like five or six months ago, but it was never purchasable. Apparently, though, it will actually be releasing this season along with a spray. Ash's old Calamity Empress Mythic skin also has a gilded aspect. Bastion gets a single Basto Lantern name card on tier 43 of the Battle Pass. Echo has a legendary shop skin called Phoenix, which is a recolor of Kachi, an old Lunar New Year skin. Genji has this Stone Crow legendary shop skin. This is a recolor of a fairly old Halloween skin from Overwatch 1, and I mean, it's just simple shop filler, right? Genji's old Cyber Demon Mythic skin also has a gilded aspect. Hanzo's base health has increased from 225 to 250. Also, his old Onryo Mythic skin has been updated with a gilded aspect. 
Junkrat has a voice line in the battle pass. Uh, sorry I'm late. This rat encountered a black cat, so this rat ran it away. <laughs> May has this skin called Arcane on tier 70 of the Battle Pass. Okay, so I'm not sure if this is an epic or legendary skin, hopefully it's the former since it's pretty simple and doesn't change her model up all that much. May also gets an adorable feline familiar victory pose, this Cauldron highlight intro, along with this player icon and spray, and then also a cute little name card. Reaper has a legendary skin called Ringleader. So this skin is actually going to be available as a Twitch drop rather than it being in the shop or unlocked in game. I don't have specific details, but I think you'll be able to get the skin for free by watching Overwatch streams on Twitch for a certain number of hours. Reaper also has an epic skin in the battle pass at tier 50 called Grim Effigy, which is pretty neat. I like the horns on it. He also has this matching player icon and the Anubis Mythic skin has a gilded aspect. Sojin's Railgun no longer stops draining at 25 energy. However, the time before energy starts depleting has been increased from 7 to 12 seconds. Her Disruptor Shot damage per second has been increased from 60 to 80, plus now 25% of the damage it does is converted into Railgun energy. Sojin has a legendary skin called Witchbane in the Battle Pass at tier 20. I always find Sojin's skins to be a bit hit or miss, but I think this one is really cool. Also in the Battle Pass for Sojin is a matching player icon and spray. Soldier76 has a legendary shop skin called Grill Zombie. Essentially, this takes his old summer skin and sort of reimagines it. As far as recolors go, I definitely think this is more interesting than the ones that just shift the hue slider about. I like how his apron says raise the dead instead of raise the stakes, for example. This skin will be bundled with a zombie walk emote. Plus, in the battle pass, you can find this salute emote. Sombra Stealth is no longer infinite and now has a 5 second duration. You can activate it by using your Translocator and taking damage will reveal Sombra for 1 second instead of ending stealth. Hack will now lock out abilities for 1.5 seconds up from 1 and no longer end stealth but will reveal Sombra instead. Plus Bob will now only be hacked for 3 seconds instead of 10. Translocator's cooldown has been increased from 5 to 7 seconds and EMP's cost has been reduced by 25%. Sombra's opportunist passive has been re-added which allows her to see critical enemies through walls and also do 20% extra damage to hack targets. Sombra has another recolor of Black Cat, which we saw in the Season 13 trailer. There is a second shop skin that wasn't featured, which is a cute little epic named Nightshade. I've talked in other videos about how I would almost never spend money on epic skins, and that still applies here, but I do think it is very cute. Sombra also has a feline familiar victory pose in the battle pass, and a voice line in there as well. You want to see something real scary? Symmetra is getting a legendary shop skin called Infernal Witch. Maybe I'm just happy to see something that isn't a recolor, but I really like this. I think the tights and messy hair are especially fun details to include. Besides this, Symmetra also has a voice line in the battle pass. Enchanting, is it not? Torbjorn has a legendary skin called Gnome on tier 60 of the battle pass. You know, the bar wasn't super high, but I think this might be my new favourite Torbjorn skin. What's especially cool about this skin is that we got a Garden Gnome souvenir a few months back, which this appears to be based on. Alongside the skin in the battle pass is a matching spray and player icon. Torbjorn also has a legendary shop skin called Drowned, which is another Halloween recolor slash reimagining of an old summer game skin. I do like how his inflatable hammer has kills written on it, and also the turret has like bloody water inside it. Trace's old adventurer mythic skin has been given an updated colour scheme thanks to Gilded Aspects. Diva is getting a recolor of her old Black Cat skin, which will be its third variation. Junker Queen has a legendary battle pass skin called Necrotic Witch at tier 1. It's always nice to have legendary skins in the battle pass that actually fit the season theme, right? It is a pretty nice skin overall, and I especially like how her knife looks. I think my favourite part though is the green hair braid. Junker Queen also has this feline familiar victory pose, a cauldron emote, spray and player icon, and also a name card. There is a voice line, what a treat! Plus her old Zeus mythic skin has a new gilded aspect. Malmo's ignite duration has been increased from 3 seconds to 4. He also has a voice line in the battle pass, Boo. Arissa's old grand beast mythic has been given a gilded aspect, and to be fair, I kinda like the gold particles coming off her here. Ramatra's pummel no longer goes through shields, however it now does 2.5 times damage to them instead. He also has a voice line in the battle pass. You are nothing but toil and trouble. Reinhardt's deployable shield has had its health decreased from 1600 to 1500. Roadhog has an epic skin at tier 40 of the battle pass named Haunted Doll. You know, I saw this skin and immediately thought people are either going to really like this or think it's hideous. <laughs> 
I think it's a really fun one with all the paint splatters and pattern on the belly. Roadhog also has a feline familiar victory pose, a spray and player icon, and also shares this name card with ghosts. Sigma has a legendary battle pass skin at tier 30 called Monstrous. This one is neat, it reminds me a lot of the old Battle for Olympus stuff. He also has a matching player icon at tier 24, and his old mythic skin has been updated with a gilded aspect. Winston has a legendary shop skin called Siege. Okay, so I've mentioned before, I actually am a pretty big Winston player, and I would love to use a new skin for him, but <laughs> it's a very busy design. And that is basically everything for every hero. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the season.